What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am Marcos Chidok, Marcel Garcia, Black Bell, five time world champ, big plus. Guys, if you subscribe to my channel, welcome. If you're not subscribed, please consider to subscribe because there is a ton of videos to learn and help you with your jiu-jitsu in every angle possible, okay? So please just give me a, a, a like and a, a subscribe to make sure we help uh, uh, help grow the channel and share the knowledge with everybody that needs jiu-jitsu, okay? So on, on the lessons today, I'm gonna present you guys five chokes from side control, okay? So I'm gonna focus again on the beginners, which the, the white belt, where they start figuring out how to keep the side control, keep the, uh, the position in a, uh, in a control, right? So side controls might be like easy to get, but it's very quick to lose it, okay? Especially when you, uh, open up to attack. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys five chokes front side control and one of my favorite one. I teach the students and they love and I believe you guys as a beginner will like you and help you uh, continue the, the, the attack front top side control without losing anything. Okay, so we're gonna go here. The first one that I laid out here. I'm gonna I'm here with Matt on the side control. Okay, so number one thing right here. I want you to get, depending what kind of choke that I'm going to do, the knee arm is the one that's going to give you the most hard time, okay? So I need to insulate this arm first, okay? So what I'm going to do here, I want to get here, side control, okay? I could stay here in side control all day long if I want to, right? But the question is, if I just hold it, I'm not going to get much far. So I need to open up, okay? So my knee under, go under this arm right here. Okay, just gonna go right there and start using to insulate this arm. Okay, so look what I'm gonna do now. Now I need to use first one, I'm gonna go for the paper cut, which is a very traditional one, very classic one. There's many ways that you can do it, but I'm gonna show you a way that I like to set up. So from here, I'm there, I insulate the knee arm. Okay, so look what I'm gonna do here. I wanna move my arm just here, okay? So I need to get under this arm, okay? So from here, I wanna go transition. I wanna start getting like my arm on this side and hold Matt collar just with four fingers on under, under his neck. So from here, right, I wanna go there and I wanna move myself right there. So where I wipe Matt's arm, see it? I wipe his arm right there. Now with my hand, I want to set up right under and find Matt's collar and leave right there, okay? So what's going to happen here is it's very uncomfortable with this arm. So what I'm going to do first, I want to go with my thumb on this side and get this grip, okay? So I need this arm here, but his arm is on the way right now. So what I'm going to do here, the trick that I like to do, I like to use my hip into his arm where I'm gonna sprawl on top where Matt had to take his arm underneath underneath me and now he put the arm that way, exactly. So now his arm on the other side, look what I'm gonna do. it. I wanna move back with my elbow. See it? So now I'm not gonna squeeze yet. I wanna, I have my arm underneath and my elbow is here. If I just stay on my knee, the trick here is gonna come quick, so pay attention. The trick huh, yeah. you can frame, you can frame me here. Yes. Doesn't matter if he's framing or not. So I'm gonna loosen up so I can explain. I don't wanna bring my elbow down right here and try force. I wanna do this, I wanna switch my hip. That's what's gonna make the trick. So wanna switch my hip, I wanna look that way and then the choke happens really fast, okay? So I need to get under and I need to get over and then all I have to do is induce Matthew's arm here, forcing right there, so which is very uncomfortable. And then he bring the arm back, which you get in, okay? So here, I have a here. I'm gonna get under this arm, okay? Now, I wanna give up and keep right here tight. Chest to chest. Now I'm gonna move myself out of the way. See how I'm sprawl and bring arm, Matthew's arm over his face. Now I'm gonna go on this side for a uh, pump, thumbs up. I wanna get right here. I wanna get under and hold his collar with no space. I'm just showing you guys. Right here, I get my hands deep. 
Now I want to insulate, insulate this arm right here. Now I'm going to come with my thumb right there. Not too deep. Okay. So now before I go here, I don't, I don't want to do this. I want to sprout and make his arm comes out. So I'm going to press right here where he going to defend, pull his arm out. Now I want to move back, insulate the arm. And now look, I'm not facing him. I want to face the, 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 the legs. Now just keep tight and sneak with the choke right there. Okay? Come quick, okay? Comes really quick when you switch a hip. That's the trick part that I believe, okay? So let's move on to the detail number, the, the position number two, which is one of my favorite ones as well from here. Look, I'm gonna go. I need to get, it's like this is the transition position right here. So look, I'm gonna do it here. I wanna use thumb right uh, uh, behind Matthew's uh, uh, ears. From here, I wanna go there, just open up, okay? So now from here, look, I'm gonna do it. I wanna bring myself in that way, where, but I'm not committing here. I wanna bring his arm there. Now from here, usually he gonna pull his arm out, which I slide my hands in. Now it doesn't matter. All I have to do is, he can frame me, whatever he wants to do here. All I have to do is, bottom elbow lift, top elbow down. But as you guys can see, I cannot finish anymore. I cannot go anymore. So what's gonna do the top, final touch is gonna be my body. So when my elbow goes in, my shoulder lean in, so build frame, so like, yes. So it doesn't matter what frame is, I want you guys to show how possible it is. So now, what's gonna finish right here is my feet. And then, lock, okay? So it's a baseball choke, basically from the top. So from here, I'm there, hit, Hold the shoulder, secure the first grip underneath like a pillow. Now I'm gonna put the arm here, right? And now he's gonna put his arm out, his slider hands in, use the shoulders. Now the final touch is, so keep in mind, arm up, top arm down, and I'm gonna walk. And then from here, he goes with the arm right there and tap, okay? That's the shoe that I really like, okay? Let's move into the number three. So that's a baseball choke, right? From the top, amazing, works really, really well. Now let's go to number three, where sometimes when I'm here, what Matt's gonna do with the far arm? He start framing, yes. When he start framing, when the count one is, I wanna use, open up, move my hand out of the way. Now use my head to get under. Wipe and get down here. So I wanna hug. Now my forehead goes on the mat. Now bring myself here. So now just stay right there. Lock it in. Okay, so Matt gonna try to bring this elbow down like this. What I have to do here, bring the arm back. I wanna move my forehead on the mat. Now bring the arm up. He can't. That's what the beginner should be doing. Position yourself first before the choke. Now the final touch from here. I wanna just move myself in. So I'm gonna bring my head to Matt's head. Connect my hands. Now look what I'm gonna do is slide and stay next to him right here. I'm not squeezing at all, I'm just keep tight until I see he's not breathing. I'm just gonna keep tight and then he tap. I'm not doing like, ah, squeeze and let go, squeeze and let go. So choke wise, what I want you guys to do, I want you guys, instead of hold 100% once, I want you guys hold 80% forever. That's what the choke should be like, okay? And another principle that I learned is that even Bernard told me like when I was a brown belt, imagine he was teaching a class and then I, I, I was on a side watching uh, at Marcel's and then Bernard said, imagine you hold someone's head and put it under water and just hold it under the water. And that stayed with me for the whole, like this whole time. And, and it's true because the choke's not that crank. The choke is like lock the circulation, right? So that's what I'm looking for. So from here, we're gonna go for the katagatami. I wanna move myself out of the way, right? I can even use my knee on belly. Walk Matt's arm that way. Now from here, if his arm, look how I'm gonna move, not that way. I wanna move up and now force my shoulder to bring his arm that way, but I cannot go on this side. So when I go here, I can use my hands to wipe and bring Matthew's head, head, arm down, but my forehead goes on the mat, my hand goes on the mat and wide the base. 
Insulate this arm in place. Head to head. Now connect your hands and slide the knee to mount and slide and sprawl right here. Keep tight, just lock, and you'll see in a little bit, Matt just gonna, cannot take anymore, and then he holds right there. This is a really good and traditional katagatem choke for beginners, and you see very, very well in the MMA mat, in a nogi mat, but beginners should be looking for that as a, a dominant position, okay? So let's move on to the detail number four, right? Number four. So this one, uh, 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 I really like too. This one kind of sneaky, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna use my own lapel, okay? So I'm just gonna keep tight, so you guys can see. I'm gonna do it right here. Now what I'm gonna do here, Matt, I'm gonna get under this arm, here. Now what I'm gonna do, I wanna open my lapel, the same side, right? And now keep here tight. In the edge of the lapel, all I have to do is, I'm here, maybe my lapel is open, it sneak under, hug, as you're doing this. Now I'm gonna underhook his head with my lapel. Now we are just a little bit deep, not, too, not, not in the edge. So now look what I'm gonna do here. Under, right? So now Matt can frame me and do whatever he wants, chest to chest. Now I'm gonna open my elbow, bring my elbow in. Now the choke is right here. Doesn't matter what you're gonna do. If you push me away, push me away. He choke himself. Because the choke is right here. So he want me in, which I don't have space. So that's why when I get my lapel, I don't get in the edge. I want to get a little bit a little bit here. And I go there and open up and go here. So now my lapel is behind. Now you can even try use and move yourself away. From him and just hold it and the choke is right there it's a very sneaky choke i learned this from my first professor joey suarez and it's like the person don't expect because when the person's fighting right here i'm fighting and getting there i move my lapel and then he don't see i'm going once i go there boom there now i switch my base and move out here and then from here give up another hook go there and go just hold it. So now whatever he does, he gonna put more pressure into the, the choke, okay? So now let's go into the number five, which is also one of my favorite ones, using my own lapel. Sometimes, guys, the lapel is there, you have to use it, take advantage of. That's what my, my, my first professor used to say. Lapel is there to use, make grips, to choke the person, use your own lapel to choke the person, okay? So this one right here, and there, now I'm gonna get here tight. Look, I'm gonna go. I wanna hide Matt's vision with my face. I wanna go here, boom. Now he might think I'm gonna go for the triangle. All I'm doing here is don't look, don't let him look around here. Knee neck to his hip, I'm here. Now I'm gonna open my lapel on the opposite side. Now from here, what you can do, you can give, just watch out, you can give to your Cheat, and now go back to his wrist. Now he think, I'm gonna hold him like this, but now he think that I don't have nothing in my hand. Give the lapel to the hand that's under the head. Now from here, all I have to do is switch my head to this side where my leg is. I'm gonna start moving, walk, walk. Now my head goes to this side, lift. Now just hold it. And the choke is right there. Okay, just be careful. If you like, oh, too nasty to hold it, I don't care. So if you if you think about sweat, all this kind of that doesn't matter. I'm here, tight. Come from here, side control. Block Matt's vision. Hold his wrist, and now he might pull his arm out. I open my lapel. Now it's sneaky. I'm gonna go there. Boom! Give to these hands. Pass under. That's it. Now this hand goes on the, on the hip. Now lift your hip up, walk, head on this side, block. Now it doesn't matter what he do, it. all I do is lift my hip and I keep it. And then in a few seconds, he taps. Don't try to squeeze, just wrap his head and chop right there. So those are my five, one of my five 
top chokes that I like it to do it and plus share, especially the beginners because beginners in, in general, they end up uh, missing a lot of options, you know, and they lose so quick because they rush. So first thing, understand how to stay stronger from top. And then the second thing, try learn how to use body weight to get into submissions. Don't just hold this. When you're a beginner, white belt, brand new, you just want to hold it. So what I like to do is I like to teach you how to manage your body position, manage how uh, uh, side control stability, how to stay stronger, move into, and then you get those strokes, okay? So I hope those help. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, okay? And if you guys like to see more of my instructionals, I have a ton of uh, uh, instructional at BG, BG Fanatics. I'm gonna put the link right in the description of this video, so please check it out. There's a lot of close guard, last guard, all this uh, game for you to make your judits better, okay? So thank you so much.